State for Youth Affairs and Sports, Mr. Ramdas Agarwal, who is the National Vice President of BJP. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Honorable Sai Paul Reddy, Member of Parliament from Andhra Pradesh. It's not only a pleasure, but it's also an honor to have the first parliamentarian from India to come and be with us at this occasion. And at the same time, a parliamentarian who is being awarded as an outstanding parliamentarian and he's been in the parliament over 30 years and he's been an information and broadcasting minister, union minister. He's been the sole, sole spokesperson for three prime ministers and who else we can get from India on an occasion like this. Please give him a big hand. Dr. Krishna Reddy, Honorable Congressman, our distinguished Ambassador from India, His Excellency Mr. Narash Chandra, the Ambassador of Israel, and distinguished members of Indian American Friendship Council. I'm delighted to be in your midst this evening. Had not expected to witness such an exciting event. Friends, I would like to convey the gratitude of the people of India to the Indian Americans for the splendid role they have been playing in promoting Indo-American relations. It, without them, such a congregation of congressmen on this platform would have been inconceivable. I would like to assure the congressmen here on the rostrum that Indian Americans spread goodwill for India in America. In addition to that, may I also tell them that these Indian Americans spread a lot of goodwill for America among the people of India. <laughs> India and America as two largest democracies in the world I've always enjoyed what I would call the convergence of conception. But in spite of this extraordinary convergence of ideological conceptions, for long years we were disconnected democracies. I am happy to find we have moved on to a stage which I may describe as a convergence of perception. Today, both Americans and Indians see that they value the same thing. They both repose in democracy and diversity. I would like to tell the congressmen who have been able to take off time that India has always been a democracy, will always be a democracy. And I can't conceive of democracy 
without tolerance of diversity. May I tell you, dear congressman, I am also a congressman back in India with the difference that I belong to a Congress party. But let me tell you in a multi-partisan manner, not in a bipartisan manner because there are more than two parties in India. We have, a, we have a large number of parties that India will preserve democracy and diversity. We not only tolerate diversity, we in fact celebrate diversity. <laughs> Let anybody point to one country in the world where our where you find 16, 17 major linguistic groups. We're all coexisting there. It's all known to everybody that Mahatma Gandhi fought for India's freedom. That I think is not the most important thing about Gandhi. He died for the tolerance of diversity. He was a martyr to the cause of ethnic, sectarian, symphony and harmony. So, country which was brought into existence by a person of Gandhi's incomparable moral stature would never deviate from the path of Tolerance, irrespective of who is not and who is not. We in India are grateful to a congressman who have been lending great support to the legitimate causes of India. India has been a victim of cross-border terrorism that of course has been a fact for long years but we are, we are delighted nay overwhelmed by gratitude to see that Americans appreciate the fact that India is not a perpetrator of terrorism but a victim of terrorism and a victim of cross-border terrorism, a victim of imported terrorism. I can't but recall on this occasion the 60 congressmen made a special appeal to the President Clinton on the eve of his visit to make every effort to improve further on the growing friendly relationship between India and America. I will, on my return home, tell my colleagues in Parliament cutting across parties barriers that not only Mr. Naresh Chandra, that every Indian American is a cultural ambassador of India. To put in Shakespeare's words, there is a tie in the affairs of men which, taken as a flood, leads on to fortune. I see the tide in Indo-American relations. I see that flood tide as well. And I am sure the convergence of perceptions which I witnessed at this moment will soon lead on to what I might say the convergence of convictions. It's not only our interests that coincide, our ideals also coincide. The coincidence of ideals is even more important than the convergence of interests. The skills 
that Indian Americans lend to American society are supplementary. While the values we in India cherish are complementary or to those cherished by Americans. This is what we are glad to note. Friendship does not really mean agreement on every issue. Friendship really means the liberty to differ. There are differences, no doubt, but those differences will not stand in the way of friendship between India and America. I think the sanctions which are imposed on India are untenable to make the grossest understatement. And I'm sure with so many congressmen here, the sanctions will soon be a thing of the past and India and America will be network nations, interconnected democracies. And that in turn is not only good for India and America, it's equally good for the world as a whole. Thank you very much. We'd like to give you an award this evening. <laughs> and the award reads, Indian American Friendship Council, recognition of excellence award presented to Mr. Jai Paul Reddy, Member of Parliament, Parliamentarian of the Year 2000. Okay, we're nearing the end. So please bear with us for a few more minutes. We're going to awards. Um, we're going to have some awards here, and the first award will go. This is the National Service Award that the Indian American Friendship Council gives each year. First award will be given to Honorable Richard Gephardt, who is unable to um, be here with us. But I'm going to call upon Chris Calori to come up and accept the award. accepting for Mr. Gephardt. <laughs> the second award is given to Honorable Benjamin Gilman and his intern, Mr. Naveen Adwani, will be accepting the award. Is Naveen here? Okay. And the third award will be going to Honorable Congressman Bill McCollum, who is unable to be with us, but I'm going to ask Dr. Ramapad to come and accept the award for Mr. McCollum. The award program will be done by Ms. Neela Mamera.